what's up guys welcome back to the channel um, today we're in the garage we're working on the dyna again i got a little project uh that i'm pretty excited about um, for the dyna i've been working on it for a while now um, ran into a couple difficulties along the way and you know i'll, I'll try to uh, use this video to help some people out but uh, what we're going to do today is install a new front suspension on the dyna um, the old suspension was was set up really for um, stunt riding wheelies and stuff like that a while ago um, when i first built this bike and set it up i had no intentions really of traveling on it but it seems like that's all i'm doing on it right now is is traveling on it and stuff like that so um, i decided to change up the whole suspension um, you know it's a good winter upgrade and you know had some money laying around and um, you know wanted to change it up and do a little different than uh, what I've seen before so let's go check out what we got so <laughs> here we go um, I got some black uh, tubes first off and we'll kind of go after that here in a second but um, I got some legends plus two cartridges and I learned something along the way that hopefully this will help a, a couple people out but um, you need to run the size that legends tells you to run it's it's in the install instructions um, on their website there's a note about it and there it's, it's like I, I can't remember the exact size now but um, it's plus two cartridges does not mean plus two tubes with legends um, for what they told me if you run plus two tubes uh, you will not get the full suspension travel uh, of these cartridges so yeah we got a full uh install kit for all the seals and everything for the tubes and we got the legend cartridges black tubes plus two on the cartridges not the tubes <laughs> so yeah um coming over to the dyna the dyna already has uh I think it's Speed Kinks or Speed Merchants, uh, Preload Adjusters, Patriot Springs, and Tracker Die Plus 2 Dampeners. So what I'm gonna do is pull the front wheel, pull the caliper, pull the fender, pull the fork brakes. And I'm gonna do one leg at a time and, and kind of see where they, where they stand. So uh, we'll put this camera on the tripod and we'll get that blown apart and uh yeah what i'm thinking is i'm pretty sure all i have to do um once i get this lower bolt out of here is, is, is slide this lower off because i don't need any of the junk that's inside of that other one all i need is that lower leg and transfer it over there so uh cue the time lapse we'll get all this blown apart and go from there to this point we got all the wheels off everything's out of the way um, all the top here if if you were gonna do a rebuild or anything else uh, I have another video that I did a rebuild on um, you would crack your top top tubes off first um, the nut up here that way you know it's turning uh, not turning and, and you're holding the tube with the triple tree now there is fluid in here and what we have to do 
is use this uh, H12 Allen and go up inside of here and, and break these bolts loose. There's, there's one on this side, there's one on that side, and that will let the fluid drain out and we can get these caps off and pull these lower legs off. Uh, what I normally do is use my electric impact on that. So that's what we'll do is drain these fork legs. out like we're supposed to this is one leg um, this is our big flat washer and our skinny washer and you know you want to replace these anytime you replace the tubes or take these apart it's a good idea to get a rebuild kit and just go ahead and rebuild everything uh, I have everything laid out in the order it's supposed to go in uh, that way so we should be pretty good as far as going ahead and, and putting this tube together um, legends does have really good instructions the only thing i changed is um, i don't have one of these fork tube uh deals to hold the fork tube you know like in a vise or something so what i did was just use the bike uh, use the triple trees to do that um, what I'm gonna have to do is is assemble this leg um, Go ahead and kind of put everything finger tight run my drain bolt in and then loosen the top to pour the fluid in There's a little bit of fluid to put in these It's just to lubricate the parts. They have no uh, performance effect since this is all sealed nitrogen cartridge with the spring all built in um, I decided to go with uh, zero preload because um, I don't want this thing too stiff. I kind of want it right in the middle. So yeah, let's assemble this fork leg.
got them all installed and man i love that look it's definitely different um most people black out everything you know that's the thing everybody does and i kind of wanted to do something different um i think it looks freaking killer uh plus two cartridges and black tubes from i think it was cycle solutions uh jake at boswell's harley davidson uh found these for me these were the only ones i could find out there that would work with these uh legend cartridges but yeah i used the the top clamp here uh you need a big allen uh, to tighten these cartridges into the tubes and then uh, I kind of made it sure that I was even on both sides but yeah I love the look man it <laughs> it looks pretty wild uh, yeah we'll get this wheel back on the fender back on and all that stuff uh, I didn't I didn't want to you know film that stuff uh, I'll, I'll have that in the beginning well, sorry about that my battery died but yeah we'll get the the wheel and stuff back on fender back on fork brace back on and yeah we'll uh continue this little build series i'll give you a little sneak peek i did get some matching rear to contrast this color here and man i can't wait um i did go a little bit bigger on those shocks than what's on here. I have some 12, 12, 12 and a halfs on here now. So, but yeah, I'm super happy. <laughs> and I mean, the ride is gonna be, you know, 10 times better than those old, well, not, you know, old, but they were new stuff. It's just that technology, that system with those springs floating in that fluid is, is you know, 60 year old suspension technology and this is new suspension technology right here so 21st century stuff as always guys like comment subscribe i appreciate you watching this video and stay tuned for next week's video i may drop that a little early because we're having a club style meetup our first one of the year so appreciate the support guys take it easy